Are you using the contest app and wonder how the UST calculation in the app actually works? Then you'll get all the info in this video. Hi, my name is Melchior from Contest Tax Consulting and in this video, we're going to take a look at how this whole Umsatzsteuer calculation in the contest app works and to do that, we're going to pick up the contest account again. We see the old familiar picture, the account balance at the top and three different pots at the bottom. We now want to take a closer look at the Umsatzsteuer and therefore we click on the pot Umsatzsteuer. Here we can see the overview of all transactions that are relevant for the UST tax and see at the top the amount that we will probably have to pay in the next advance UST return. The largest amount is a cash receipt that is a turnover of Contest GmbH, which we had categorized with 19% UST. But if I now think that was wrong, that it should have been 0%, then I click on the transaction and can then simply change the categorization here and set the income to 0%. This changes the detail view of the transaction and we see that Contest subtracts the income tax, this time from the gross amount and Umsatzsteuer is no longer included in the calculation at all. Also, if we go back and look at the UST calculation, we see that this transaction is missing altogether from the calculation. This makes sense as 0% are no longer there and we would even have a refund claim in the next advance UST return according to this calculation. It's not true in this case of course, so we go back to the main overview and then click on the transaction again to change it back. So now we see that in the calculation the amount is there again and so we will have to pay 934 euros in the next advance UST return to the tax office. Here is a very very important note. If you use the Contest Premium account, this function is especially important for you. If you book the accounting plan or the tax service, then you don't have to do anything because these steps and the whole categorization will be done for you by the accountants of Contest Tax Consulting. If you are a small business owner, you may be wondering how to categorize correctly or perhaps you also have income that is tax exempt and that does not allow you to deduct input tax such as an insurance agent or doctor. The good news at this point is that you don't have to categorize every single transaction and indicate that there is no UST tax on it. The Contest app has some basic settings that have an effect on all transactions. We will now take a look at how you set those. We'll go into the settings, then we'll see the Umsatzsteuer settings and there we have the option to set that you do not pay Umsatzsteuer. It says Kleinunternehmer in parentheses at this point, but I just want to point out that this setting is always correct for you if you have Umsatzsteuer free income that excludes the input tax deduction. However, there are also UST exempt revenues where you still have an input tax deduction. If this applies to you, then please do not select this function because this function completely blocks both the incoming and outgoing UST. And just to show you what that function does, I'll select it here now. I click on that I do not pay Umsatzsteuer and go back to my overview screen and see my transaction here. I'll select the transaction from Contest GmbH to see what categorization options I now have. I click on Categorize As and I see that I only have three categorization options left. My transactions can now only be revenue, a private contribution or a tax refund. There's no longer an option to categorize the sales by different Umsatzsteuer rates and I also can't get a UST refund either. This makes sense because as a Kleinunternehmer I no longer have all of this. In Contest however, there are also settings that may be relevant for you if you pay Umsatzsteuer and that's what we'll take a closer look at in the settings. To do this, we go back to the settings where of course we select that we pay Umsatzsteuer because otherwise these settings would no longer make sense. The first item we can select is your pre-declaration period. As a self-employed person, there are different scenarios when exactly you have to pay UST, either monthly, quarterly or annually. I've already recorded a separate video on this, you can find it linked here and you can use it to find out when you actually have to submit your advance UST return. The Contest app needs to know this so you can select for which period the Umsatzsteuer payment was. It makes a difference if you submit and send the advance UST return for May or for the second or third quarter or even for a whole year. So that you have the right choices, you need to set what your advance return period is here. I'll choose the quarter at this point. 
In addition, you have the option to enter your Umsatzsteuer identification number in the settings. Important note, the Umsatzsteuer identification number is the number that starts with DE and that DE must not be emitted. You always need this number if you do business with companies outside of Germany. By the way, this is also true if it's simply the use of tools or of advertising platforms such as Facebook or Google. These companies often have their headquarters outside of Germany and you need the UST identification number to have business relations with them. I've also explained in a separate video how you apply for this number if you don't have it. And I'll link that video in the top right corner. I hope this video could help you and has brought you a little light into the darkness and you now understand the whole aspect of Umsatzsteuer in the Contest app a little better. By the way, I have also recorded other videos in which I explain different functions of the Contest app in more detail. In this video, for example, you will learn how all these tax pots work and what the whole structure of the app looks like. In this video, I show you how to find out your personal tax rate and how to set it in Contest. If you have any other questions, then of course you can always write us a message, either in the chat or in the Contest app or just give us a call. Finally, all that's left for me to say is that I would be very happy if you subscribe to this channel, which you can do here.